my channel also welcome if you're new here hi if you're new here my name is Shan and I'm a full-time college student I am a part-time bank teller I upload college related content um, vlogs like days in the life or weeks into my life and yeah I'm just really excited that you just decided to click on today's video make sure you stick around and it is like hot in here I just left out of Barnes & Noble like when I was when you saw me like riding and like trying to planning and doing some schoolwork for American government which not to get off topic but I read some very interesting things and it makes me question like the country that like I'm not saying the country that I live in that I reside in is a bad country but it makes me question society's morals and there's like of course there's a lot of things that have happened that you know made me like just think about like wow is this really happening but just the more that I've learned um, the more that I read like about American government and just the more that I just I guess like watch things it just makes me sort of like question society and its morals and how our country um, like allow not just our country but I'm saying because it's not the United States itself but it's the people like the government or like the president and you know things like that are like people who are in like a a bigger role or like a higher role like has more leadership like how they allow things to happen and how like money plays a huge part in things but yeah I just thought I'd share that with y'all um I'm about to get ready to go I just um I need to go to Starbucks and I'm also going to order me some food before I head back to my hometown it just feels sort of weird right now because I feel like people are looking at me but what did I say in that last video or one of <laughs> my videos sometimes people aren't even looking at you it's just you overthinking stuff you know nobody's looking at you <laughs> but yeah so earlier today like I cleaned up I did like the normal thing that I usually do for like a get ready with me for October today is October 1st and it's just so exciting because it's a brand new month new goals new something something but new goals new mindset new all of that but to but I just want you all to know like you can still make new goals regardless like of the month or disregarding the month or like the year like you can make as many goals as you want like it doesn't have to be a new year or a new month in order to set new goals you know and also if you haven't already heard um one of my friends from high school she sent me like a picture about the student loan forgiveness and um like they'll like send you an email if you go in your fafsa you can go in like your notifications or something like that and click like email me information and they'll email you when the application is ready for student loan forgiveness and i also gotta let her know about that because we're supposed to remind each other about that and then there's also fafsa for 2023 to 2024 opens today it always opens on october 1st so if you haven't already last time i tried doing that and like there was just i feel like there was probably too many people trying to renew their fast foot at once and that's why i was going so slow so i said i'm not gonna let that stress me out today i'll do that another time um as long as i get it finished like sometime next week but yeah um let me stop rambling. I have a few more errands to run and I'm gonna take y'all with me, of course. Okay, so I'm here at Walmart and I just have a couple of things that I need to get, like literally just a few things. And I started not to come in here because it's a little packed and it is the first. And technically yesterday was the day I guess everybody got paid for this month, if you get what I'm saying, because today's a Saturday and usually I guess technically everyone got their paychecks yesterday but yeah it's very packed at the walmart today and i'm just gonna just put down my list real quick so i know what i'm going there to get but i really feel like i'm just going there to get two things but it's just something i'm trying to learn how to make a like have my own like make my own iced coffees and i don't really know what i need to use so i'm gonna have to look up what i need to get just one more time i know what it looks like 
but if you get what I'm saying. So let's just hurry up and go in here. I need to go ahead and order my food first. So by the time I get out of here and go buy Starvies, you know, the food will probably be ready. And plus I have to use the restroom. So yeah. It's proof that today's is a busy like weekend. It's like a lot of cars. That's okay. Um, may I have the Grande Mango Dragon Fruit Lemonade? Yes, ma'am. Same thing up for you. And a birthday cake pop. And that'll be all. Yes, ma'am. You're going to take this one to one, though. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, so I just got out of rock and roll sushi, and yeah, it took me a minute to get here, but it's okay, I'm here. Um, got my little chopsticks. Oh my goodness, it looks so good as usual. Let me show y'all really quick. So it's called the, let me read the bag. It's called the, <laughs> oh goodness, I get it off. It is called the Sunset Strip Roll. It used to be called the Fleetwood Mac Roll, but now I know what it's called. To go, and it was $13.95, but they charged to go, a to-go service charge and a consolidated sales tax charge. So it turned out to be $16.61. So next time, I'm just going to come in and order it because they charge for to-go. They charge a dollar for to-go plus the tax. So I don't know. That's why I really don't eat out like at restaurants a lot a lot because i try to save much money but a lot of money but anyhow this is my grande mango dragon fruit lemonade um for some reason i thought this would be bigger but okay oh wait i forgot to show y'all my cake pop birthday cake pop looks good as usual but i don't want to eat it right now because i need to eat actual food This is why I need a Tesla so I can eat and drive. You know, because they can drive for you and everything. <laughs> oh, I need to learn how to use chopsticks too. Mm. This is so good. I feel like I got two rolls. Definitely, I plan on coming back at the end of this month because I have a budget on how much I can spend a month. So probably by the end of this month, I'm going to come back and get two rolls. Mm. Look at the fries. When the sun hits them. Oh, they just look so good. Today is October 2nd, Sunday, and I'm already dressed for church. i um, got to wait for my mom and my sister to get dressed. But I made me some coffee, iced coffee this morning. And I actually got, like, a lot of, like, the ingredients of how to do it, like, from TikTok. And I'll show the TikTok that I, there was this one um, young lady, and she was, um, she just showed how she did hers. And this one tastes really good. And I'll make sure to like link my ingredients below too. But yeah, it tastes really good. This is my first time like making my own iced coffee. And I'll link down, if you're wondering where I get the cup from, I'll link it down below. Like I got it from Poshmark. I actually got the one cup from like one person on Poshmark. I just got the cup and then the other, one young lady and then the other young lady, I got like a cup, the lid and the straw. So I'll just be sure to link that down below as well so you can check out their Poshmark clocks, um, closets. They still have the cups available in like the lid and the straw. So they have like plenty, I think. <laughs>
Hi everyone, so I made it back from church. I've been back for a couple of minutes now, but I was just doing a little bit more like cleaning and like the bathroom and just like did a little vacuuming in my room and I just want to say thank y'all so much for watching today's video comment down below what you like you know most about it and let me know if you want me to do like more like study vlogs at Barnes and Noble we can do more of those together I just thought it was cool to do that I didn't like film a lot while I was in there but I will film more if that's what y'all want to see but before I close out today's video I just want to show you all like my calendar and how I'm just like setting up my calendar for the month of October. Okay, so I really like this that I got from Target and I haven't really written much on here, but throughout the week, throughout the month, I will find things to write on here because I mainly use this right here for like if I have exams or if I have like work meetings or things like that. Um, sometimes I'll use this one to write like birthdays or um, just like other like doctor's appointments and things like that but you see today it says for this month of October it says your dreams are not too big and you are not too much you're growing like a plant and if you feel stuck where you are it might be time for a new pot and then of course here I just have like different things I have like a someone's birthday on the 19th and you know things like that and like a holiday on the 10th you know days that I have off exams so yeah, I also wanted to share when I was watching a YouTube video um, about like Christian singleness and I couldn't recall, I can't recall the, um, the young woman's name, but she mentioned something is she said, let God transform you. And then um, it just reminded me of the verse, at Psalms 5110. I was like, um, create in me a new heart, oh God. And I also want to show you all what... Um, we talked about um today at church what the service was about um okay so it was matthew chapter 17 verses 14 through 21 um if you want to read that you're welcome to read it i highly encourage you to read it i just want to share what we talked about today in church we talked about a lot of things in today's service but i wanted to share this with you all and there's someone outside who is that okay yeah but Okay, I hope you all have an amazing day. I love y'all so much. Mwah.